Zoe Laverne. <sighs> Zoe Laverne needs to go to prison, literally federal prison. As most of you know, around six months ago, Zoe Laverne kissed a 13 year old. All right, she's 19. She kissed a minor and posted it. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? I'm Trey Loke, back to a brand new video, guys. Another TikToker, <coughs> Zoe Laverne. Oh God, out of all the TikTokers, she is by far my least favorite TikToker. So like I said earlier, as most of you know, around six months ago, back in 2020, Zoe Laverne made out with a 13 year old boy. She is 19, that is illegal no matter where you are, okay? That is, that is terrible. Cancel culture is such a big thing right now. You know, like with TikTokers, Twitch streamers, YouTubers, you can get canceled for pretty much anything you say or do these days and never get your career back and lose everything. And even though cancel culture could be excessive and sometimes it's not a good thing and people get canceled for things that aren't really worthy of losing their careers over, other times though, cancel culture doesn't work at all. Zoe Laverne posted a picture of her kissing this 13 year old. Here's the picture. This is it. This, this alone should be enough to end her career, if not put her in jail, at least end her entire existence on social media. Remember, this was six months ago, but nah, 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 nah. Here she is completely still on her pedestal on TikTok and about to have a kid. What is going on? Zoe Laverne was literally the one who uploaded this video, who was okay with all these TikToks coming out of her and a 13 year old kid doing dances and stuff and getting close and touching. It's really creepy and weird stuff that I don't even feel comfortable with her being able to could keep making content for kids. And after she was, you know, exposed for kissing a 13 year old kid, she apologized for it. Don't get me wrong, apologizing is the right thing to do, but apologizing is literally saying you did something and then saying you're sorry for it. Okay, she said sorry. Yeah, okay, but she still kissed the 13 year old I mean when was it just okay to apologize for your illegal things? When can you just kill somebody be like oh my fault homie? You should be all right. Nah, that nigga's dead, bro. This is no different. She literally kissed a 13 year old Okay, someone six years younger than her and got away with it and nothing's happening She is currently living her normal life with that only being about a month that she was down bad in distress because of this it's wrong okay she got away with something that so many other people don't get the luxury of getting away with and nobody should get the luxury of getting away with it recently as pretty much everybody knows edp 445 got caught lacking in 4k okay it's a sad story everyone was a fan of edp everyone thought he was this cool funny guy next thing you know he's meeting up with 13 year old girls this is the same story here but do we see EDP's channel on YouTube anymore? Nah, that shit's terminated. Are we ever gonna see EDP make content ever again? Are we gonna hear anything about him probably ever again? Probably not, he's gone. And even though he was sending explicit pictures and everything, which is extremely wrong, Zoe Laverne actually touched the kid. She actually kissed the kid. And not only did she actually kiss the kid, she has a picture of it. If EDP kissed that 13 year old girl that he was going to see, it would be an uprising against him. There wouldn't even be a, he would be in prison for, for decades, bro. For decades. There wouldn't even be any sign of him ever again. You know what's going on with Zoe Laverne right now? She's pregnant. She's having a baby. That's her future to have a, to have a child even though she kisses 13 year old boys. You have to understand that as an influencer, these people cannot get away with stuff like this. Zoe Laverne has a ton of followers and a ton of influence over a ton of people. And when they hear about this, when her fans hear about this, these 13, 14 year old girls, these 13, 14 year old boys, and they hear about her still being okay afterwards. She's still smiling and making TikToks and doing funny things. Even though six months ago, she literally committed a felony. Just, just having her still walking around Around, doing what she did after her apologizing for her kissing at 13 that makes it look like you can apologize for doing these types of things it makes it seem like you can do really wrong things and be like oh my fault i did this i did that i'm growing and then just get over it Louis laverne really didn't receive that many consequences for her actions and that is the problem it's disgusting honestly and i hope none of you support her i made a video about zoe laverne a couple months back when this was all going down and you know i was i was i was really confident that there was going to something was going to happen to her like i thought at least at the very least her career would pretty much be over because i mean i was seeing the images i was seeing the 4k footage of what she did wrong her crimes the, what was she how is she gonna get out of that but here she is like i said strolling down the streets living her life casually 
with almost no change, even though she did something catastrophically illegal. I don't even want to say that it's like female privilege. I don't even want to say that it's, you know, all those controversial topics. I just want to say that it's flat out wrong. If you go and type in Zoe Laverne on Google Trends, you know the first two related topics that show up? Pedophilia and child grooming what bro literally when she was talking about kissing a 13 year old boy she literally just said it just happened it must be okay to kiss a 13 year old boy when you're 19 and take a picture of it showing everybody else who did it and you're chilling bro i promise you tell me what you think about zoe laverne in this entire situation do you think she should be able to walk the streets or not let me down below without further ado guys i'm trey i'll see y'all in the next one peace out